kind of you to come. Why would you say that? Well, I think even my sternest critics would concede that my first solo trip has not been a disaster, that I didn't fall totally flat on my face. So I can only imagine, hope, that you've come here to apologize, to eat your words, and congratulate me. Your capacity for self-delusion never ceases to amaze me. We're all glad you're back where you belong without too much damage having been done. You have two sons that need you. Our sons have easily survived me being away four days. I'm not sure one can say the same for the rest of us. The exquisite selfishness of your motives and the, the calculated vulgarity of the antics. Knowing full well the headlines they would get. Antics? Grandstanding like that. We think we couldn't do that to theatrically hug the wretched and the dispossessed and cover ourselves in glory all over the front pages. I doubt it. You barely find it in yourselves to hug your own. I hug who I want to. I hug who I love. Particularly when they are affected by the selfishness of others and he cheering up. Who are you referring to? Camilla. Why would I care about her? Because I care about her! Morning, noon, and night, I care about her. And you hurt her. And if you hurt her, you hurt me. Camilla is who I want. That is where my loyalties lie. That is who my priority is. Not the mother of your children. Don't bring the boys into this. All right. Not the woman you married! I refuse to be blamed any longer for this grotesque misalliance! I wash my hands of it! If you have a complaint, about not being loved or appreciated in this marriage. I suggest you take it up with the people who arranged it. 